guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. Okay, I thought I'd take you along in making a project for this journal. So I have this envelope that I'm going to alter to put on this page for a flip out and tuck and all that good stuff. So I have a piece of ephemera. I thought this went real good. It comes. It's actually in the kit. This is from the kit. And this is in the kit also. I was going to use those. Got a little bit of washi. And, oh shoot, I did not get... I got two different... I think this one's probably going to work best. Two different um, red damask. Alright, and I'm, I have this on here because I'm trying not to blind you with the, um, the copper placemat okay and then I just drew a line back here because this this is where I know I want it to line up when I'm done okay so let's put this aside for a minute hope y'all having a good day oh, yep it rained yesterday rained all night and uh, like I said we're supposed to get rain again today and tomorrow but it's supposed to finally cool off. Now we're going to supposed to be in the low 60s. Woohoo! Party! <laughs> and then I think oh shoot, I don't remember. And then I need to this is real thick so I don't think I need to back it but since I have that glue on there I might go ahead and see if I can find a, a scrap piece of book page hiding over here. Will that fit? No. Alright, I guess we're going to be using the big one. Okay. But yeah, like I said, oh, I'm ready for some cool weather again. This is just crazy. Don't take my winter from me. I live for it. Granted, I might tell you, oh, it's cold. I'm freezing. My feet are cold, but supposed to be cool. Oh, put my scissors up too. Oh, wrong ones. Okay. But yet, then there's some people who are, you know, well, up north, you know, Canada and everything. I've getting got hidden by, hidden, gotten hit with some snow serious snow and cold weather but I don't know why we are in this such a warm trend down here that it's pushing all the cold air up and we're not getting any so raw but yes I do enjoy the four seasons <laughs> and I'm not talking about the music oh And, you know, per personally, I would be happy with fall, winter, and spring. And do away with summer. More more winter, just because that means we don't have to, you know, worry about cutting our grass and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I got me a small electric weed eater because I can't crank the um, big ones I just they're made for right-handed people I cannot crank with my right hand as you know I've told y'all many a time and so I bought a stupid electric thing which is I got the cheaper one the one that only runs for 30 minutes because I figured if I you know only had 30 minutes of battery life which I'm seriously thinking about bringing it back and getting the one that gives an hour because I figured an hour charge you're really only going to get 30 and I would really be upset if I, you know, go down there to weed eat around the, the barn and the fencing and stuff. And my stupid battery only lasts 15, 20 minutes. Because, you know, the whole point is is to help, not to halfway do. Okay, so I have that reinforced just in case. Oh, darn it. And my thing is hanging over. Hold on, let me hang, put it to the light so I can see where I'm cutting.
but I've got to try to give John a little break with this stuff. And if I don't jump in this year and help, oh, it's going to be really bad. Because it was, it was kind of bad last year, but it was going to be really bad this year. So, yeah. I'm going to try to do my best. All right. So now I want to put this on the back. And that's going to be our pocket where it goes in so you can tuck, but then you can still write on here. And I guess I should, I hate to waste all that paper, but you know me with making things even. I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and, I think I am, I'll just talk myself into it. All right, so. Let me just mark on the sides, make sure I'm in frame. Yes, I am. And hopefully I can find my, my pencil marks. You know how I am about finding those pencil marks. Not. Oh, I don't do a very good job sometimes at finding those pencil marks. Especially when you turn them up, up top. that and then we will just cut it off right there on that line and then we'll see what it looks like before we punch our big old hole in it and I guess I need to go ahead since this you'll be able to see ink this up And I'm wondering, I know, let's just make more, more work. <laughs> I'm thinking. Let's see, let me get my big old hole punch. Which this one, I believe, is, that's three inches. Okay, let me get my three and a half inch one. Which is hidden back here, then my big Watumba. And then we're going to cut it down. And we'll see if that makes a difference or not. <laughs> because it might be. My thing might be too. Okay, we're going to be like this. It's going to flip out. Am I going to be able to get something in there? And my answer is more than likely no. Nope. So. Alright, i got to cut some more. Hold on. I'm back here. Okay, so we're going to go... All right, so I'm going to try to make this wider, but not so much rounder, if that makes any sense. So i got about a little half inch over there. And... About a half inch over there, and then let's see if we can come and make this more round-ish in there. I still might have to take the scissors to it. All right. So, we're going to take our craft knife to it. Oh. All right. Let me see. I know this is going to turn out terribly. All right. Let's not do that. Let's do our scissors. Pretty darn. I don't want to bend it, but I might have to. Here, we'll pencil it. I just want the same angle on both sides. So, Alright, 
let's see what we got now. Okay, I'm okay with that. But it just means now I'm going to have to put some other paper behind there. I know. Just so. Or should I pull this up? I know I should have just. Nope. Should have just, yep. I know. I think I'm going to have to go there. I was trying to make it cute. Let me just follow where I, where I need to cut now. I know. Sorry, y'all. Should have had this planned before I started. I kind of did in my head, but oops. Did not go so well. We're not going to have anything left before I'm done. I don't know how that didn't go straight. I know how. I was talking. That's how. Alright, so we're going to put this in here. Oops. And then, maybe if I used a piece of paper that fit in here, I would see it working better. <laughs> that does help, you know. Alright. I'm going with that. Let me get back in my seat. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm starting to crumb again. I guess it's time to change this crazy sponge out. Okay, so we're going to put this one on here. And I'm still thinking of... What do I have that's pretty? We have... some of this that would kind of pull out a little bit of well you don't see green until you flip it over but it's still on there so maybe we have that or we have we have we have mm. this piece of green from the ephemera part we could put that okay I might put the trees on there like big old washi tape so if we have that on there then this will be in there okay I think I like that all right now let's just see how far we need to cut You know, the trick is wiggling it underneath there with your the glue on the back. But we're going to try our best. All right. Well, we're not going to put that on there because that makes it more difficult. So we're just going to put... Oops. I got my heater on. I know. I had to turn my toilet seats back on because they got cool enough to go whoo when you sat down on it so it is getting cooler <laughs> that's when you know it's too hot when you have to turn your heated toilet seats off in the winter because it's just too hot and I'm telling you any of you guys who live in the cold weather that's the best $150 investment you can ever make is a heated toilet seat I mean you do have to have you know an electrical outlet put behind your toilet so you can plug it in but if your husband's handy with that then it saves that that right there but oh man let me tell you that's one of the best gifts John has ever given me is a heated toilet seat I still think I might need to ask for one more for next year 
so we can have one in everyone. And then I need one in the shop because, okay, well, we have two in the shop. So anyway, um, yeah, because if I'm going to be tinkering over there next year, oh, I can't be on the cold toilet seat. No. Best thing in the world. I kid you not. All right, so I'm going to go down about a quarter of an inch is where I need to go down. Okay, and then we'll just put some around the very edge a little bit just so it can grab a little better on the edges. So I don't know if any of you guys watched that series on Netflix called Lost in Space. Well, we started watching it because it only had three seasons. This was the finale. They're not doing another one. Um, and it took a whole year for them to come out with this third one. But, you know, we got addicted, so we watched. And we really only started watching because, you know, what we remember as kids watching that Lost in Space with Dr. Smith and all them. And then our, our air conditioner that we have in our um, shop, it's a big old portable unit. I mean, it's huge. And um, because it was from John's old office where he worked and when they got their new air conditioning they got to us and so there's like two main holes out of it and so we had ducks on there and so it looked like a robot so we call him Robbie Robot so you know and every time sometimes I'd walk by I'm like um danger Will Robinson danger Will Robinson you know because that's how <laughs> the robot did so um like four years ago I guess it's been almost four that they said they were you know coming out with this um, lost in space thing we were like oh well, let's watch it because you know it's just we were wanted to see what it looked like um, from you know what they did how they remade it and all that good stuff well I'll be honest with you when we first started watching it we were like oh man I don't know it's it's definitely more updated and um, and then Dr. Smith you know there's a twist on that but we ended up getting you know addicted to it and got into it and um, was really sad to know that they weren't going to go any further with it. But I guess, you know, you can only take it so far. But it, it actually had a great ending. Um, so, some some tears and laughter, but it was really good. So if y'all haven't watched that and you have that and you have Netflix, check out... Um, you, you, there is a twist, like I said, there's a twist with Dr. Smith, but all the other, you know, uh-oh, I lost my mark, see, oh, because I'm on the wrong one, or am I, but when it was all said and done with how they did the, doc, the new Dr. Smith, it was perfect. And, um, you know, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't really watched it, but like I said, it really did end well. It was great. And I am going to be sad that we don't watch it anymore, but it's one of those ones that we might just go back and rewatch the, um, the series because it, it really was cute. And then we've been watching, well, we started when Yellowstone came out, that one, that Western kind of thing. Um, it's not really Western, but I guess so. With Kevin Costner, which my husband doesn't really care for him, but he likes this movie. So we started watching that, and I'm wondering if I, if cutting this is going to be sh too much white showing underneath there. Let's just cut this one and see so we watched the first season which you know I have to admit was not bad and then for some reason we didn't watch season two and three can't tell you why but we just didn't and um and then I'm guessing you know because John's one of those ones that as long as the guys at work are watching something talk about it then you know he wants to watch and talk it so 
we started watching this season, which, you know, it's kind of hard when you miss two seasons to get into it going, huh? But season four was really good. So now we got to go back and watch season two and season three just to see where we left off at. And I'm kind of, I know, thinking and working. I'm kind of wondering if I... I just think that's going to be too much white. So I'm trying, I'm kind of talking myself out of it. Mm, if I had an extra one, I would cut the whole thing, but I don't have an extra page. I've already, I printed one extra and I've used it now. And there's only one of those strips on there. I'm looking real quick. And wasting time, wasting time. I dug on it. Okay, well, nope. I think I'm just going to go straight across then. Because I just think there'd be too much white. And that's going to be enough white. Okay, talk myself out of it. But yep. So if any of y'all want to watch some stuff that they talk about, you know, Montana, because that's where it's filmed, and it's filmed in Montana, and they're, they're always talking about um, Bozeman and Butte and um, Helena and all that good stuff. But um, but it's, it's, you know, it's diff, you know, it's good. If you don't like uh, Western type stuff and rodeo, not for you, but it's actually pretty good. So, all right, we have that. Now I gotta cut this one, and I guess we're gonna try to get it. Oops, where am I? About the same. Yeah, and then John wants to watch this 1883 stuff because it's got Tim McGraw and Faith Hill in it. And I'm like, let's just finish watching, you know, what we've got going first because I don't like having that many series, you know, going. And let me put these in the thing before I lose them because those would be cute. Okay, because I just don't like to have that many se series of things open that you don't watch and then you forget what the heck you were watching and, oh, no, I'm, you know, when I commit to one story, I like to watch it <laughs> and I want to finish it from start to finish. Oh, my gosh. Because, you know, then you spend... Like the first hour or first, you know, one or two of it going, well, what happened there? How did that happen? Well, if you'd have watched it instead of, you know, jumping channels and surfing and doing other things, then you would have known what it was. So. This one down and then put our presents in the middle and we might just call that a quick and easy so we still got to do the back but yeah back to lost in space the writers and everybody did really taking account the the people who watched it when they were younger you know because it was black and white and then it went to color i believe but <laughs> i used to watch it at my nana's house um there's that other thing and so they really did take the fans into consideration when doing this last the season finale of it because there's no what ifs 
and oh no, you know, you can't kill this person off and, and, and now what? So they really, I have to give them two thumbs up. They did a great job. At first I was like, no way. And then I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so that was my last three episodes <laughs> recap. Oh, uh, and like I said, I think I just want to have it playing on there to pull in some of the, all the other whites and stuff in here and not have too much dark going on behind there. Because I think the presents are just, just pretty as they are. Like, you know, their own little focal point. So we're going to just do that. What was it that we watched? Oh, darn. I don't even remember now. Shoot. I had it in my head and then I forgot. But they just didn't even... Oh, the Vikings! The Vikings series. <sighs> I mean, that last season, Michael Hirsch, you suck. Um, they just did not write the, the season finale well. They left it with too many answers, too many whatevers. It didn't even, anyway, it did not tie well. And uh, I'm very disappointed in that one. So, anyway, all right. Well, that's, that's kind of stinking cute. Stinking cute. And then that's our little flippy on here. So, I'm going to glue this down because I want to use this as a tuck spot. And for some reason, it, this just does not want to lay flat and even on my thing. Because where's a, a journal card? I mean, there's some in the kit that i got to cut, but, you know, you can put something long ways like this, and you can even put, oh, and you can do, so we might have to do a long journal card that way, and then put an extra one that way. So, let's see if we can, oh, i got too many pencils out. Okay, see if we can get our glue line. Oh, Fergie's instigating up there. That girl. One day, something's going to turn around and literally bite her head off. Alright, so we're just going to put some glue on here. And I guess I'm going to put a little more on each side. Just because we are going to be using it. And I'm wondering, hmm, maybe a little glue on the sides just to strengthen that page. Oops, ran off that row, but it's not going to matter because it's going to be on the inside. Because just the back part's going to flip. So I think we'll be okay. Let me look. See, isn't that cute? And I got these. I'll show you what they are real quick. Hold on. Sorry. These were some, you know, something I got from Hobby Lobby in 2018 that I haven't bothered to use. But they're Chris Christmas party invitations. And so they have the envelope. They have... A like a big card stock in here, then little Merry Christmas. That's where I got that thing from that reindeer, and but it just went really well. Excuse my arm reach, it went really well with this little kit with all of its little greens and, and reds, traditional colors. So, all right, now that that's on there, I'm got somewhere. Some little um, checker gingham washi tape that goes with the inside of here. So I'm going to run a strip of that across here so it looks like, you know, you can see the 
the definition of the top and bottom of it. Okay, so back to the middle of the red. Mr. Ruler, you're in my way. All right, and then we'll just run a little glue down it so it'll hold it. But yep, this is a quick and easy way to to use an envelope to turn it into a little flip. And then, you know, if you don't want to go the extra mile, and I think I want some red over here, and you don't want to go the extra mile and, you know, decorate this. I mean, we've done that before. Just add a little washi down there to separate it. That way, it defines your top and bottom tuck spots. And there's no sewing involved. So, that's that little one. And it flips out, and then you have a tuck spot here. You can journal here. You know, granted, you'd have to turn your, your thing sideways, but there's journaling room here and then we'll put a journal card in there let me see how far I've got I don't know I need to buy another stinking timer because that one from my Dollar Tree my little things are um, fading and I'm wondering I don't know this might be too much but I'm just thinking about maybe I'm telling you this washi sticks to itself <laughs> I'm wondering how if that's just too much and then I don't know I kind of like that all right so we're gonna put some washi on top and bottom of this page just to strengthen the um, even though this is 32 pound I just wanna this is a little heavy and I want to go ahead and kind of strengthen the top and bottom of the paper with a little bit of glue and washi. So again, I want some red on the outside. Okay guys, I know this one's going to be um, short because um, i got a film behind. We're going to make something for it and do a little other decoration. But I'm going to put the other washi tape on top and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So um, quick and easy altered envelope flip out for your, your journal. Okay, so oops, let me get in the hole. So there you go. We have this and it flips out like that and then this is our front so we will do that on the next one so um thanks for sharing some of your time with me thanks for sharing some of your day with me i hope y'all been having a great week um 2022 is i mean literally around the corner knock 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 on the door and i will see y'all later thanks for your love thanks for your support thanks for everything all of your comments and watching just means the world to me i i, I love y'all for that lots of kisses lots of love and i will see y'all on the next one bye guys